In this show, we'll take a look at the people who are working on the cutting edge of these new technologies and meet a suburban family experiencing the new media in their own home. Well, um, I've always, I've always been into some type of art, always, ever since I was a little kid. Drawing, painting, clay, all of it. But when we got the stuff in the house, I went wild with it. I mean, I'd stay up all night for weeks on end, get my mother crazy. <laughs> anyway, um, you know, none of my friends or kids I knew from school seemed too interested. So I, then I put up this ad in the, um, on the computer bulletin board. And here, want to see it? Okay. It said, Are you computer artists freaking out on this new technology? Sitting up all night because you can't stop drawing? Me too. Let's talk about it. Send reply and artwork to MV622. Well, I saved it and I kept it in memory. And I remember it was between an ad for a used outboard motor and a, a Chinese cooking class. M maybe there was someone else out there who did the same things that I did. So I answered it. Then I got this. There was no, no name, no note, nothing, just a, the code number. Well, I loved it. And I saw it sent back some of mine. I didn't even think she was going to send anything back to me. She liked them, though. She liked them a lot. And I really, I, I couldn't wait to find out what he thought of my stuff. And, and he told me he liked it. And he, he, he said he really liked it. <laughs> anyway, um, so he loved it. And... Um, <laughs> What else? So I had this strategy already planned out, to where two people could draw on the same screen at the same time, but be a, on do two different terminals. I mean, I thought I was into this, but this... <laughs> well, anyways, we, we started drawing together. And, um, I don't know, it, it just worked. It worked. He picked up on it immediately. He was just there with me. My parents got on my case for not going out and stuff and staying, spending all my time in my room. And We would do it like all night long. And I, I, would, I would start falling asleep in school. I didn't care. I didn't care about anything. It just felt like magic. Something was happening. It was something else. I don't know. I, don't have, I never had anything like it before, so I don't know how to describe it really, but... <laughs> so, we had everything settled and everything was going fine. And then she wanted to meet me. <laughs> I mean, who is this guy? I wanted to meet him. <laughs> but he hesitated. I didn't know whether she was fat or ugly or if she would think that I was weird because I like doing the things that I, I do. And what we did was we agreed to send these pictures of each other, of ourselves, through the computer. That way it's like a little fuzzy, <laughs> leave a little to the imagination still, you know. And uh, then the next step after that was we decided to, um, to meet at the downtown McDonald's and he was to wear a red carnation, which he did not wear. Because I know a lot of kids that work there and I don't think he'd wear it. <laughs> and I knew him the second I saw him anyways, immediately. I just, I knew it was him. Just, you know. Um, and we've been together ever since. I swear, it was, it was like we had known each other for a really long time. 